I'm a constituent of the senator and I helped him and, and I expected that he would do constituent service, which means that he shows up to work. The only reason why you're doing it now is because we're running for the same position and someone has convinced you that attacking me is going to help you. Well, I've been Here's the over the last few weeks. And now to campaign 2016, the gloves came off at the third Republican debate last night. Former Governor Jeb Bush took a shot at his mentee from Florida, Marco Rubio. Bush went after the senator following a Sun Sentinel editorial that called on Rubio to resign his office after missing a number of votes to campaign for the White House. It's an issue that provided some real fireworks last night. I read that editorial today with a great amusement. It's actually evidence of the bias that exists in the American media well, today. Do you Florida Senator Marco Rubio questioned about his service as a U.S. Senator for Florida, not just about the moderators at last night's debate on CNBC, but also by his political mentor and Republican presidential rival, former Governor Jeb Bush. I'm a constituent of the senator, and I helped him, and, and I expected that he would do constituent service, which means that he shows up to work. When you signed up for this, this was a six-year term. And you should be showing up to work. The only reason why you're doing it now is because we're running for the same position and someone has convinced you that attacking me is going to help you. Well, I've been Here's the bottom line. I'm not, my campaign is going to be about the future of America. It's not going to be about attacking anyone else on this stage. The issue the two sparred over is Rubio's recent lack of attendance for votes in the U.S. Senate. It led to the Sun Sentinel to call for his resignation on Wednesday. Senator Rubio was asked about the fairness of the question during the debate on CBS this morning. Senator, were you surprised that Jeb Bush attacked your attendance record? Your, one of your local newspapers is also raising it as an issue. Is it a fair question? Look, uh, my campaign is not going to be about attacking anybody else. So my campaign is going to be about who I am and what's important for our country and the future of America. Some saying this was the moment the senator dealt a blow to Bush's presidential aspirations. And it wasn't just Marco Rubio and Jeb Bush who got fired up during the debate. Many of the candidates felt the questions asked by the moderators simply weren't fair. Well, I think it was very unfair. I mean, it's become very unfair. The questions that are being asked shouldn't be trying to get people to tear into each other. Okay, in fairness to CNBC, the two-hour debate had a specific focus on the economy, jobs, and taxes. All eyes were on Ben Carson and Donald Trump, but there was little jab in between the two of those of them. In fact, Trump was quiet for a long stretch of the debate last night. And stay with CBS 4 News and CBSMommy.com for continuing coverage of campaign 2016 and future debates from both political parties.